Hello folks. This is going to be a short one because we got here late and the sun's going down and it's getting dark and I don't know if my battery will last. But anyways, we are at Stony Fork Campground, National Forest Campground. It's a pretty nice place. It's got a mix of uh, electric and water and just electric and then some with nothing. And I've been here before, it's about two, two hours from my house. So really, if I was smart, I'd get all the way home, but we had a lot of food and stuff in the fridge and it was a uh, seven hours drive. So we decided we'd stop here and, and enjoy the uh, one more night of camping. Um, it is both reserve and first come first serve and I believe they have a mix either way whether it's reservable or, or first come first serve I think they still have some uh, nice campsites of different uh, different stuff but um, we we got a pretty crummy site really it's uh, there are a lot of good sites here um, here's 13 I really like a nice long site it's pretty separated from everybody else by bushes and of course your door will be facing the woods so that's that's always my my love like this one across from it your your door is going to be facing the road I don't like that so um, and here's one that's got all sorts of neat chalk writing on it <laughs> nice big old fifth wheel and a real nice deep camp site and they have these little uh, triangles on the post that tells you whether it's got electricity um, water and sewer or whether it's just um, just uh, nothing just primitive uh, but there's some really big sites here with Here's a big class A on nine. And this, to my knowledge, is the only pull through site. It's a, it's a, you know, side of the road, but I mean, you're not bothered by the road. You're not, you got good, uh, good separation. And I don't know how long they're here for, but they've got all the Halloween decorations out. And it is in the, Na the Jefferson National Forest. So you really have the opportunity for dispersed camping in the, the National Forest. But there's, um, as I said, this is Stony Fork. And this is the Stony Creek, I think. And it just goes through the uh, campground. I don't know if it's if it's really a fork, like branched off or not, but this is the way in. We're going the wrong way. The bathhouse, one of them. This is the pay station and you come in off the main road and the dump station is across the street but it's a little funky um, the original dump station which is a normal looking dump station is uh, concreted in so you can't use it and then along the edge there's a new dump station 
cover that you got to use and pick up. Um, there's the there's the campground map, and you can see the color of the the tri the triangles are different, and you know they've got campsite, no utilities, campsite with electric, and campsite with water. No no sewer, I guess. But and they do have people that are writing all sorts of nice things. And this is the uh, host site. Great, big, beautiful host site. And he does have sewer. So if you want a really good host site, this is in a really good spot. And there's one of the one of the bathrooms up on the hill. And that one has a sign on it that says it's not operational at the moment and it's locked up. See the sign on the walkway up there. So they have one cabin in the park. This old log cabin, I don't know what this used to be or what it is, but you can rent the cabin and uh, I don't know if it's got a bathroom, but it's right next to the bathroom if the bathroom is working, of course. And we're going backwards, so these are sites. Sites 49 and 48. And they're a white triangle, so they have no utilities. Which is surprising when they're so close to the bathroom, but I think all the utilities are on the other side of the, the creek. Since it's getting dark real fast, I'll give you the sites that I think are, are decent sites. And like I say, there's there's a lot of decent sites, and that's Aquila moving the camera. Um, two and four, they're they're in the the deep <laughs> the deep swamp bushes there. They're kind of hidden from the world. As you just just as you come in, so it's a pretty busy area. Five is right after them, and that's a pretty nice site. And it's right next to the stream, and the stream is labeled as a flood risk. So I don't know if that's good or bad. But if you like being near the stream, you have a nice site. And you got a dog that likes to play like Aquila. We we've been next to the stream. 11, 13, 17, 19, all great sites. 21, 23. 26 is one I stayed at at the past and it's a real nice site. It's kind of kind of covered up in the woods um, 28 33 34 40 42 46 and 48 Those are my choices for good sites here So we'll, we'll make this a real short video because I'm not staying here. We're probably gonna leave We're probably gonna leave in the morning in the dark so, um, won't have anything, no hiking or anything to really do playing around here. So, <sighs> hope this is good. If, uh, like I say, this is about two hours north of my house on the Virginia border and North Carolina border. So, if you want to come, if you're going through Virginia on 81, it's a real easy, quick on and off. And uh, the gas is uh, very varied prices down here it goes from uh 309 to 339 i don't know why but um it's a nice campground when when things are working it's probably better in the spring than the, the fall all right thanks folks give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and we'll see you on the road